Yeah, they killed him. And they got Clark. With Wiley and Simpson being driven off their two sections, it begins to look as though Bennett's making good. He's promised to run all of us. Then let them have the land. It's not worth the trouble it's causing. We've a right to our homes and to our land, Jane. And we've a right to live peaceably. You don't call this peaceful living, do you? The authorities will stop Bennett. Oh, Dad will admit himself he hasn't heard a word since he appealed for help. And that's weeks ago. Well, it takes time for state officials to act. Be patient. And while we're being patient, men are losing their lives. I'll tell you again, it's not worth it. There must be some way we can protect ourselves. There is. If we organize every independent rancher and homesteader in the territory and stick together, we've got a chance. If we don't, well, the answer is plain. That sounds like good common sense. I'll put it up to every one of them. I well, hope you don't talk your father into pulling up stakes, Jane. We need him. I'm staying. And before we're through, Bennett will know he's been in a fight. Good. That Roberts has got the ranchers and the homesteaders working together. Well, that's because you didn't carry out my orders and run him out. We did the best we could. Well, your bets wasn't good enough. Can't you buy him out? Yeah, without him. Why, the others would be easy to handle. Well, it's too late to try that now. Haven't you got enough acreage to gradually freeze him out? No, I haven't. Now, my idea of building packing plants out of here to save the cost of shipping livestock halfway across the continent can't be done unless I control all the acreage in the state. The men back of me insist on that. Well, getting rid of Roberts ain't gonna be easy. It'd take more than a hundred men to get rid of him. No, it won't. I know one man that can handle it. That's why I sent for him. Who? Butch Crane. You mean that killer from Texas that always dresses like a dude? That's him. Yeah, if that's a crane I remember. He's got a reputation to make a skunk proud of himself. Well, he still has. Now, I want you two to ride up on the ridge and meet him. Keep him out of trouble. I wouldn't know Butch Crane if I met him face to face. Me neither. Well, you just look for a man dressed like a Christmas tree. Bring him here. We'll find him a big help.
away, folks. And they have felt better, Rocky. I've been hanging around here for two days waiting for you to show up. Well, it took me a little bit longer with the governor than I expected. Well, what's it all about? Um, uh, oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Home ranchers having trouble with a big cattle outfit. Underhand work of some kind going on. I suppose it's up to us to stop them. Well, we've got to get enough evidence that'll hold up in court. Uh, put on some coffee, will you, while I get my clothes on? Is that an order or a command? Well, then you can use your own judgment. <laughs> <coughs> I, uh... That's funny. I... I left him right here. You left what? Where? My clothes. They ain't here. You're gonna look awful funny riding around in that outfit. Well, it must be somewhere. Yep. Well, there's your hat over there. Uh, how'd that get over there? <laughs> That ain't my hat. I know it isn't. Maybe you bought it in one of your foolish moments. No, why would I do that? The one I've been wearing has been wearing for ten years. It's good for another ten years. What I'm worried about is, where's my clothes? I don't know. Uh, 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 Lizzie, did you buy these? No, no. Uh, honest, I didn't. Uh, I don't know. Either you bought these or somebody liked your duds better than their own. And I can't figure out why. But it looks like you've inherited a very fancy outfit. Nice calfskin vest. And look here. Leather shaft. Yeah, you better put them on. These fancy do dead. Hey, I will not. You'll either wear them or ride bareback. Uh, who would want to steal my duds? I... Well, reckon I better put them on, I guess. If you didn't have that beard, I'd kiss you, son. Well, all right, all right. And injury to insult. <laughs> Feel all dressed up like that, that uh, Sasparelli. Sasparelli's a drink. You mean Cinderella. That's him. <laughs> you know, if the same thing that happened to her doesn't happen to you, you'll be all right. Yeah, uh, you mean him's a her? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, what happened? Did he die of starvation? No, but we will if we don't get moving. Well, the first thing I do is when we get to where we're going, I'm going to get some clothes. Oh, what do you mean? If I were your size, I'd trade it. You mean it? Why, certainly. Nice and loud. You'll attract attention wherever you go. Uh, that's what I'm afraid of. Come on, let's go. Come on. Mm. Don't spill everything like I did a while ago. There might be food in that basket. Hey, Fuzzy, I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Why not? I'm hungry enough to eat a horse. Well, go ahead, you got one. Yeah, but if I did that, I'd have to walk, and I don't like walking. <laughs> Wait a minute. If what you can't do that. Uh, 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 no, no, no. You can't do it. I, can't. I know I can't, but I'm a doing it. <laughs> Boy, is that good. Yeah, I know. Fudge it. Oh, don't. don't. Southern fried. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't do a thing like that. Mm, boy, take. Oh, now, Fuzzy, that might be some kid's lunch around these hills somewhere. You can't do a thing like that. Hey, come on. Try it. Try a piece. Good. No. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that's good, but uh, I'm not going to do it here. No, right, I'll do it. Oh, don't be a pig, you pig. What's the matter with you? Oh. <laughs> Good, huh? <laughs> Boy, that's homemade cake. <laughs> well, Phyllis doesn't be doing it, you know that. No. Well, what are you doing it for? Here, here. 
Take it. I don't want it. You wanted it. Take it. Oh, no. Get behind it. Yeah, thank you. Take it. I don't want it. Oh, good morning. I'm glad the food meets with your approval. Not bad at all. Now, don't mind him, miss. He's just, uh, put that down. Put that down. Don't you know there's a law against taking what isn't yours? Uh, well, you'll see, uh, we're sorry it happened, yeah, you but, see, uh, miss, uh, I, we, uh, we were far from hungry, and the sight of food just sort of fetched my brain. Your what? I, <laughs> well, don't blame him too much. You'll see, his nurse dropped him on his head when he was a baby. Oh, take it so. I never had a nurse. <laughs> Who are you, anyway? Just a couple of peace-loving citizens. He looks as though he just escaped from a circus. <laughs> or worse. <laughs> we heard there was some good homestead land around these parts, so we figured we'd file on a couple of sections. Yeah, we're good starting out that we're on. Oh, I can see now that you're strangers in this town. How's that? Well, everyone knows it's easy enough to file on land, but almost impossible to hold it. Well, what's the reason for that? The Bennett Cattle Company controlled all the range before it was thrown open for homesteading. Now they've started to run everyone off to regain possession of it. Well, what's the matter with the law? Oh, we've appealed for help, but with all the red tape that's got to be gone through, nothing's been done. That's what we're here for. Are you sure the Bennett office behind the trouble? Yes, but we can't prove anything. I see. We've managed to hold on to our land. My dad, Jim Roberts, is getting the settlers to band together and fight. Well, as soon as we take a look at the land records in the county seat and look over location, I'd like to talk to him. Well, I know he'll be glad to meet you. Let me take that. Oh, thanks. You had it our way? No, I have to take this food to a couple of settlers who are hiding out. No, I see. What are you holding? Say that. I ain't much of a cook, but sometime when you ain't busy, I'd like to get the uh, mixings on that cake. Well, the next time I see you, I'll give it to you. All right. All right. Hey, that's a nice girl. Yeah, good food, too. Certainly is. With a nerve of some people. No any further, we'd be in the next county. You suppose Butch Crane could come in some other way? No. There's a couple of riders coming. Yeah, one of them sure dressed up like a Christmas tree. I wonder who the other one is. Say, they're going the wrong way. Fire a couple of shots and give them a signal. Butch is going loco. Look out for him. Coyotes can't take a shot at me and get away with it. I know, Fuzzy, but those shots they fired sounded to me like signals. Well, if it was a signal, this horse is smarter than we are. He, he was answering it. I wonder what's the matter with them. I don't know, but we'd better find out. I... Uh... Hey, those two of us are coming back. Why, well, I'll stop... Wait it. a minute, Fuzzy. Let me handle this my own way. Then we'll find out what it's all about. And for once, try and use your head. What for? Oh, forget it. What? Go ahead. What I'm going to use is where my hat of mine. Never... What's the matter with you, Butch? We were only signaling you that you were taking the wrong road. Well, if you want to live, don't fire any shots around Butch when you ain't expecting. Ain't that right, Butch? Uh, that's right. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> you know, shots to me are just like a bell to a prize fighter. When I hear something, it goes right into action. I'm sorry we upset you. Well, don't let it happen again. We expecting you, Butch, but uh, thought you'd be alone. Uh, hey, who, who give you the right to think about me? Uh, uh, this is here is my pal, Rocky. Yeah, uh, that's right. Rocky Deadpan's my name. Ain't that right, Butch? Yeah, right. Uh, Deadpan, uh, he's Deadpan. He, he strings along with me wherever I go. Any objection? No, no. Anything you say goes. We was only sent out to meet you. But Jack Bennett, he's been expecting you. 
We've got orders to take you out to his ranch. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's anxious to meet you. Well, we're just as anxious to meet him, ain't we? We're out of dead pen. Yeah, let's go. So you're Butch Crane. Yeah, I'm Butch Crane. Well, you know, somehow you don't look like what I expected. But if you're half as good with that gun as they say you are, I'll be satisfied. Why, well, Butch here got his reputation by using his brains, not going around looking like a gunman. Ain't that right, Butch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's where you're smart, Crane. You know most gunmen go around with a chip on their shoulder. Not me. I was thinking, Bennett. The one time I saw Butch, he was clean shaven. Uh, no whiskers. Oh, yeah? Uh, I'm wearing these for disguise. Yeah, you got to remember, Butch is a marked man. He had to do something to change his appearance. Yeah, with these whiskers, nobody would recognize me as Butch Crane. Well, the clothes are a dead giveaway. That's how my men knew you. Anybody could wear them clothes. You don't think I'd ride around the country carrying identification papers with me, do you? Well, there must be some way of proving who you are. There is. Oh. That's too bad, Butch. Got a tricky knee. Oh. Now, Butch has the reputation of being the best shot in the Southwest, hasn't he? Yeah, there's none better. Willing to show him, Butch? Uh, no. Why not? What have I got to lose? Uh, Butch, you stand over there. Watch. Over there. Hold it, Butch. Well, let's see. Here, you stand right here. That's fine. Bennett, you better get out of the range of fire. I need you. What's the idea? Now, there's been some doubt raised about Butch's identity. He's going to prove to you that he is Butch Crane. Ain't that right, Butch? I hope nothing goes wrong. He's so mad he can't talk. Now, Butch is the only man in the world that can do this trick. What trick? Just be patient and you'll find out. And don't worry. Stand over there. Take a gun out, Butch. That's right, Butch. Uh, what's that name? Now, get over this way a little, Jeff. Go back just a step. Now, take out your gun. There. That's it. What are you trying to do? Now, when I give the signal, you're both going to fire at the same time. Butch is such a crack shot that he's going to stop your bullet in mid-air. Such a thing ain't possible. But don't prove it if you've got the nerve. Now, if everything goes right, nobody will be hurt. Ready, Butch? Yep, he's ready. Now, remember, Jed, you've got to shoot. Because if you don't, Butch's bullet will hit you. Now, when I say one, you raise your gun. At two, take aim, but don't fire until I say three. Because uh, Butch has to have time to sight your lead, understand? Yeah. Hey, yeah. That's fine. One. Steady, Butch. Hold it! I'm satisfied. I don't need any proof. Courage, Butch. No. 
Now, are you satisfied? Why, yes. Only a man that was sure of himself or a plain fool would do what you started to do. Well, I ain't no fool, and you remember that. Now, let's get down to business. Your job is to make it tough for all the ranchers and squatters around here. I see. In other words, you want Butcher to take over your bunch of gunslingers. Is that right? That's it. What do we get out of it? Why? Well, hey, don't you know? I know what we want, but... Uh, you do the job. There's $10,000 in it for you. Is that enough, Butch? Well, it's pretty cheap, but we'll take it. Uh, now, there's one man in particular that's causing me all the trouble. I want him removed first. Well, who's he? Roberts. Jim Roberts. Ro Roberts? Yes. Now, he's the leader of the men that are fighting me. The quicker you get him out, the better I'll like it. Well, this is new territory to us. We'd like a little time to look things over and see how they stack up against us. All right, but don't take too much time. I want action. Oh, don't worry. You get it. We'll see you later. Fine. What do you think of him, Benny? Well, I'm not saying yet. to explain to Miss Roberts why I didn't speak to her when we passed her. Yeah, you're always doing the wrong thing. Oh. <laughs> Howdy, Miss Roberts. Uh, here, let me help you there. Yeah. There he goes. Maybe you don't know, but you're trespassing on our property. We came over to explain. Explanations aren't necessary. I know what you're thinking, and I don't blame you, but the point is that... I saw you with Bennett's men. That's all that matters. Oh, we're for you, Miss Roberts. Honest we are. Do you expect me to believe that? Well, I told him it wasn't the proper thing to do. You're jumping to conclusions. Out in this country, we don't straddle fences. We're definitely on one side or the other. You've got to listen to me. Anything wrong, Miss Jane? I ran the calf caught in the fence. And these men came along and thought they knew me, but they were mistaken. Strangers are not welcome around here. No harm's been done. Come on, Miss Jane. Rocky, <laughs> you sure have a way with the women. <laughs> That fellow's wearing my clothes. Well, I'm blessed. Hey, leave your gun alone. I know, but I want my clothes. I'm looking for Jack Bennett. Well, I'm Bennett. I'm glad to know you. Don't you realize he's the real Butch Crane? I don't give a hoop who he is. I, uh, did you say Butch Crane? Yeah. Mm, well, come on, let's get out of here. Now, wait a minute. We're in trouble and we have to face the music. Or aren't you music? Uh, Fuzzy, pull yourself together. We have to block this thing out. Uh, how? By taking the play away from me. And don't worry about it. If you get in trouble, I'll help you out. Now, come on. Uh, this way. Oh. You don't know me. I saw you before in my life. You've heard of me, though. No, I can't say that I have. Well, you must have. You sent for me. I'm Butch Crane. Butch Crane? Hey. Who did you say you were? I said I was... Where did you get those clothes? The same place you got those. Hey, what's all this about you claiming to be Butch Crane? I ain't claiming. I am. Uh, no, you're not. I'm Butch Crane. You're crazy. You can't be me. Well, I am. I mean, I, uh, well, uh, uh, you tell them. Now, look here, whoever ah, you are. Hold it. Both of you can't be Butch Crane. You bet your life we ain't. Now, you see, he admits he ain't. I ain't admitting nothing. Well, you little more than now, you know, right, I'll hold it. Hey, boys, grab these three and we'll find out who's who and what's what around here. Now, just take it easy. Neither one of these two are who they claim to be. I'm Butch Crane. Hey, Fuzzy, if anybody makes a move, use this dynamite. Uh, stand still now. Don't move. 
No, I've seen you somewhere before. Sure you have. So has every other cheap gunman that goes around the country pretending to be me. There's a lot of money offered for me, dead or alive. Who are you? Hey, take it easy, Fuzzy. You're playing with dynamite. Sure. As soon as I found out you wanted me to work with you, I wanted to size up the situation, so I had Fuzzy here pretend to be me. A blind man could see that he's a phony. Hey, I ain't no phony. It's these clothes that make me look that way. Well, get rid of them, then. This would-be gunman's about your size exchange with him. Hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> get in the house there. Go on. He wanted to be Butch Crane. Wearing those clothes, maybe they'll all think he is and keep him out of our way. Maybe. Still got any doubts about me being Crane? No, I don't think so. If any of you other fellows got a grudge, now's a good time to settle it. He's all right with me. I'm satisfied. <laughs> if Miss Roberts could have seen that... Is Miss Roberts a friend of yours? Not so you could notice it. He means that she'd tell her father he hasn't got a chance. Uh, boy, you could sure read my mind. Well, if I couldn't, you'd be in a tough spot most of the time. Ain't that the truth? I want you two to get things moving tonight. Any suggestions? Roberts has quite a large herd over on the North Range. See that they're not there in the morning. They won't be. Good. Cattle moving, drop out and beat it over to Robert's place. What for? Tell him Bennett's run off his cattle, but not to worry. He'll get them back and Bennett with them. Green, you and Jed right up ahead. The rest of us will start him running. Come right. right. I was on my way to Robert's place. Ah, sure uh, you were. We're going to see if you get there. Yeah, I was like, uh, Save your breath. You ain't going to have any to spare. Now, get oh, on that No. <laughs> Once we get them in the canyon, Roberts will never be able to find them. It's a pretty slick setup that it has, isn't it? <laughs> it couldn't be sweeter. Ready to ride. 
Your herd was run off last night, Jim. By Bennett? Well, it's hard to say. There's too many of them. We had to beat it. Oh, I can tell you who was, Miss Roberts. This is one of the men I was telling you about, Dad. Although he looks different somehow. Oh, there's those fancy clothes. I ain't wearing them no more. Who are you? He's one of the rustlers. We grabbed him before he could get away. I ain't no rustler, and I wasn't trying to get away. I was coming over here to see Mr. Roberts. You're one of Bennett's men, aren't you? I ain't nobody's man but my own. Did Bennett rustle my cattle? Yes and no. What do you mean? Well, we did it for him. You and that man I met with you? Yeah, he sent me over here to warn your father about the raid. But he went right ahead and stole the cattle. He had to. There was nothing else for him to do. Why not? Well, you see, Bennett thinks that he's Butch Crane, but he ain't. Well, there's one of these Butch Crane. It must be you. Well, I was, but I ain't now. This is too much for me. Let the judge figure it out. You mean you're going to lock me up? Nothing else but. Well, now listen, Mr. Mr. Roberts, uh, why don't you listen to me? We're working for you. Got a prisoner for you, Evan. Butch Crane. You mean the killer from Texas? Yeah. I ain't no killer and I ain't from Texas. I'm just plain fuzzy Q Jones. Now, oh, don't get excited. The jail ain't so bad. It's the hanging that hurts. Hanging? Well, that's the way you gunmen usually wind up. Yeah, but I ain't no gunman. Then you've got nothing to worry about. Hmm. Uh, how long before my trial? Well, uh, the judge won't be back in town for about a month. Come on. You've got plenty of time to think things over. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I like it. <laughs> well, make yourself at home. Hey, don't worry, I will. <laughs> oh, boy. A month of just peace and quiet. No firing, no shooting, no fighting. <laughs> just peace. Hey, what a break! <laughs> Looking for a fella named Roberts. They said he was in town. Know where I can find him? I'm Roberts. What do you want? Lost some stock last night, didn't you? What do you know about it? I can take you right to the spot where they're being held. Where's that? Back in the hills. Now, you don't know me, but I got my own axe to grind. I want to get even with the man that's trying to break you. Who is that? Jack Bennett. What do you think, Bradley? Won't be hard to find out if he's lying. All right. We'll stop at the ranch and pick up some boys. Then we're riding over in the hills. And you're going right in the middle of it. Suits me fine. Those horses. You heard me get off those horses. Take one of those ropes and tie them up. You're wasting your time. We ain't got nothing. It's either that or a bullet. Here, tied up like this without food and why? You won't be alone long. Roberts is on his way here to get his cattle. What's that say? Just letting Roberts know that he has friends working with him. Goodbye, boys. Don't go anywhere.
There's your cattle. Ah, this little job gives me a right warm glow. You want to go to work for me? Sure, providing I can work my own way. That suits me. You boys scout up the canyon, see if there's any guards. We'll go in this way. Let's have a look. He's one of Bennett's men. Who tied you up? Roberts. Sorry I couldn't stay to talk to you, but to successfully beat Bennett, I must remain unknown. The lone rider. The lone rider behind us, we'll make short work of Bennett. on the run, it won't be long before I control all the grazing land in the state. Yeah, and then what? Well, then I'll force the big meat packers in the east out of business. They can't compete with my prices. The men we left guarding the cattle in Lamigo Canyon are gone in the herd with them. How do you know? I was there. Well, somebody will pay for that. Are you sure you can trust Jed? I thought I could, but right now I'm not sure. And I got some bad news for you, too. Yeah, what's that? Your pal Jones is in jail. How'd that happen? All I know is Roberts had him jailed. Thought he was Butch Crane. Wait a minute. Where are you going? I'm going to get Fuzzy out of jail. It won't do you and Jones any good just landing in town and start looking for trouble. You'll get yourself killed. You and your men are the only ones that know us. Well, there's a lot of talk going around. Listen, they know you're working for me. They may not even try to jail you. Oh, you mean I might get strung up? Maybe. I'll take a chance. anything to say to me and I want to hear. Yes, I have. You hired me sight unseen, and I'm still working for you. You're mistaken. Run him off the ranch. Not so fast. Anyone tell you you lost some cows recently? Did anyone tell you that the Lone Rider's taken a hand on Robert's side? The Lone Rider? Yeah. I tipped off Robert's where you had his cows did. When we got there, the Lone Rider had tied up your guard, left a note, and disappeared. Well, by disappearing, he showed more sense than you. Forget the guns. I should want to get patted in the face with a spade when I'm finished with you. Take a squint at that. Am I or ain't I Butch Crane? Well, why didn't you show me this when you were here before? Because the runt that was wearing my clothes didn't know it was sewed in the lining of a vest. You wouldn't give me a chance to talk. We've been taken for a bunch of chumps. I wonder if that big fella that claimed he was me is a lone rider. I knew I'd seen him before. We had him in our hands and let him get away. Oh, where'd he go? When'd he get Jones out of jail? Listen, we've got to work fast. We've got to clean things up before the lone rider realizes what's happened. We'll start at the Roberts Ranch and we'll run every homesteader out of the country. Green and me will take care of the lone rider and Jones. Good. Well, 
How does that look, Mark? That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> coffee now or later? Now. Yes, sir. Oh, gosh darn it. I forgot the cream. Oh, keep your seat. We can at least get along without it for this once. You got me uh, fixed up pretty nice here. Well, at least I can do it for an innocent man. Say, you suppose we could keep that judge out of town for, say, six months or a year? Well, what for? Well, be a shame to move out of a place like this. I sure would. But remember, you've got at least 30 days here. Mm -hmm. Now, if that fellow Robert should oh, oh. Roberts, if he ever shows up, just remember that I'm still Butch Crane. Yeah, but what's Rocky going to say when he finds out you're here? Oh. Never thought of that. I won't do nothing. I'll just sit tight and demand my rights. I'm a prisoner, and I'm going to stay a prisoner. Yes, sir. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that was sure a swell feed. Yeah, but the steaks were cooked a little too and much. And there could have been a little bit more mushrooms in the sauce, but it ain't kicking. You take care of the office when I get back. Uh, don't worry, I ain't going out and ain't nobody going to get in. I think I'll take my afternoon snooze. How'd you get in there? By following your instructions. I tried to explain to Miss Roberts and her father, but they wouldn't listen to me. I'm sorry about that, Fuzzy. I'll get you out. I don't want to get out. I know when I'm well off. I'm eating three times a day, sleep like a baby, and no work. If I'd have known jail was like this, I'd have been thrown in a long time ago. So just run along, little boy, and don't bother me. Well, I'll get you out whether you want to get out or not. That's what you think. Because I knows where the keys is, and I ain't going to tell. Well, I'm going to find the keys. I'm going to have to turn the place apart. <laughs> Too late. We'll find out. Uh, first time I ever seen her jail fixed up like this. Hey, what are you doing in here? We're going to show you and the Lone Rider you're not as smart as you think. Yeah, when he tied up Jed and left that note on him saying who he was, he didn't know that Butch was going to be riding with Roberts. 
while Bennett's taking care of Robert's place and the places of all the rest of the homesteaders, we're going to take care of you and the Lone Rider. And you are just taking a little bit too much for granted, ain't you? How are you going to do that? That's very easy to explain. Go ahead, I'm listening. Get in, get in. Make yourself at home, boys. <clears throat> Fuzzy, head out to Latigo Canyon and meet Robert. Tell him his ranch is going to be raided, and I'll meet him there. I'll go out to the ranch and keep Bennett busy until you get there. for you, Mr. Robert. You found me. Uh, now, listen, Mr. Robert. I'll I... listen to you when I get you behind bars again. Well, on well, second thought, maybe I'd better go with you. Fellas. Well, Crane's in his cell. This is Fuzzy Jones. Say, this is getting very confusing. Well, here. This ought to answer your question. Yeah, come on, let's lock him up. All right, come on, get in. Well, how did these two get in here? Uh, me and Rocky Cameron put them in there. Is this Cameron the Lone Rider? That's what I've been trying to tell you ever since I came to your place. Right now, he needs help and plenty of it. Where is he? He's on his way to your ranch. Bennett's on the warpath, and he knows that every man you've got is out there heading your cattle home. Well, there's one way to get help to him. Hello, operator. This is Jim Roberts speaking. Ring everybody on the party line out to my place and tell them the cattlemen, led by Bennett, are raiding me. Tell them it's our chance to catch Bennett red-handed. Yes. Yes, I'm leaving town now, and I'll pick them up on the road. I take over while I'm going. Are on the way here. You'll have to leave. I'm staying. Now, there's no use being stubborn.
Nice day, Abel. Yeah. Might be for you, but it ain't for me. <laughs> you look as if you've been tangling with a wildcat. No, the wildcat's in there. But if you think I look bad, you ought to take a look at him. Hey, Evan, you got that hunk of steak for my eyes. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> You're here again. What? Don't tell me you two men have been fighting. Oh, no. Fuzzy wanted me to put him in jail. I couldn't without a cause, so he tried to give me the cause. Just when I'm settling down to peace and quiet, you have to show up. Now sit down and don't bother me. I'm going in and relax. Relax. Oh. oh. <laughs> 